because I got to figure out, like, is it really the key? Is it really just a, a, a very difficult puzzle to solve of a win condition? Is it really that? Three, two, but never one, mind one. the last Love, party, yeah, just no. like you said earlier, um, uh, has actually spent a lot of time on Taros before Jayun dropped, and Hardy would actually place very nicely in uh, both right ones now. and twos events. Yeah, they he would place very nicely the, in both. Yeah. I like I like how we're seeing you know the meta you know three axes and then we just have Witcher just playing whoever you want. Welcome wants, to you know? <laughs> Witcher Boo always, always playing whatever he wants and then everybody else is one playing. One of you know, these meta. is not like the others. One of these. So just a dozen. But actually no, Guizbo does belong here. It is top eight, but still one of these is yeah, not like the yeah. others. <laughs> no one Oh, as I say that, we finally have an Oh, party. oh. Are the MJ going down first? Well, we're looking good for for a red team. It's a it's a little bit of a surprise scene. Seeing you know not everybody using that, which it's it's a good surprise, you know. It's a it's an even better surprise that we have a Queen Knight here and the Queen Knight gets eliminated. But SSC you know, is still really doing well right now. You know, getting eliminations not so quick, but getting eliminations first, having the the stock lead. And they, they are really, really putting hard the NJ in low damage. Yeah, we do actually already see a little bit of blue team's uh, synergy and how well they work together. That is gonna have to, uh, that is gonna have to wait until second stock. But still, how well they worked together, you can really start to see they're really going for some of these pass off. There's be once or twice where Asino would hit like a, a stray nair or something on Guichibo, and um, uh, and you know they, they would be right on that. They would be ready to follow. Oh my the God! Moments so are falling up after that. that. Your yeah, soul is out for blood. Anytime a Cino sets them up, soul is ready to knock them down. Although it is a Cino. First great, stock. Yeah, great, oh. great tag team from these. They they know those things, bro. They're they're setting each other up and finishing them off. Uh, right now, soul was a little bit too slow, but usually they they set up themselves up and then. Eliminate, sadly, for Soto, he gets eliminated Ooh. there. So, I want to say close game, but Assassino and Soul still have the lead. Oh, it is pretty quickly looking like less of a of an even game, especially now that Hardy is really kind of starting to fall into red. Hardy uh, actually used to do very nicely in twos. I'm forgetting some of the people that he's teamed with. I know Blazy was... Uh, uh, was one of them, uh, 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 I think a West um, Spear yeah. Demon, if anyone doesn't really know who yeah, Crazy West. is. Throughout, yeah, throughout 2021 was a West Spear Demon. Hardy on Taros and Blazy on Hattori was one hell of a combo to witness. 2021 um, is now three years ago. <laughs> oh my oh, god! And no, that's weird to say. Eliminated. Hardy MJ, oh, gets a quick elimination, but... My boy, you are on Deep Red. You need a Christmas miracle, and it is January. No more Christmas miracles for you, buddy. You lose the round. It's, it's, they're, not, uh, they're not losers yet, but they lose the first round. So, um, yeah, Hardy, I think, might need to kind of brush off a little bit of rust with some of these twos because we all know what Hardy is capable in 2v2s. Has, has snagged quite a bit of money in doubles, but yet... Uh, we're not really quite seeing the same level of prowess that we kind of grown to know and love him for. So maybe it might take a game or two, but I would still keep my eyes on this Taros. And of course, Gooey in the other corner over there. I mean, oh, he's just as solid as ever. I'm, I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Gooey. <laughs> I just so many times. How many years have I been casting this kid? And it's always Gooeychubo. I'm just gonna shorten it to Gooey now because I just. People shorten his name to all weird kind of things, but I think Gooey is a cute name, so I, I if you don't want me to call name. you that, please make some noise, but otherwise, <laughs> you, you will, I diagnose you with Gooey. Can you diagnose him with a, with a winning formula? Because that's what they need right now, because Hardy MJ just getting Ooh. locked off away from Gooey. They, they want Hardy, not Gooey. What do you, I mean, what do you... What do you think about the Queen Knight pick? We saw it first round, it didn't do so well. Not too bad, but not too good. I mean, the Queen Knight pick, I feel like, is in theory going to be great for twos. Because you got Spear, you got some great zoning signatures. Both D Sigs, both N Sigs are going to be fantastic, actually. The side Sigs also not too bad to move. Oh, I see Sino like... getting the Queen Knight! Oh, oh, oh my god! Sino! Wait, Hardy! Hardy, I see Sino was. 
going a little bit too deep down there on Hadi, you know. Hadi's like, okay, calm down, buddy. We're gonna take you down. Calm down. You're doing too much. Hadi MJ, though, really on weak health. Reachable. I really good. The good thing about Queen Nine right now, like you said, yeah. She should be good for twos, and right now she's working for two. She's still on three health. I mean, three stocks. Wow. Hadi MJ's on his final one. Reachable needs to somehow come back. Gets the kick in, but gets eliminated by Soul. Ooh, how the MJ getting juggled around like one, he's at a carnival? Two, we won. <laughs> he needs to stop. He needs to stop doing these handicap situations where he's a two v one situation. He's gonna be tossed around by Sol and Assassino. Right there, how the MJ eliminated Sol there. Which of you not getting the follow up though? You know, so, this is a, this is a fantastic back and forth. I'm, I'm really having fun. Oh my goodness, Soul! Blue team with some fantastic stage control. All they oh, had to do is separate up. red team, and that is, I think, exactly what they needed to win. As the C knows, no, Guizhou was able to respond. Although, they do have another stock. Guizhou is still on two stocks, though, but playing yep. very carefully. Nope. Does not want to give he a single one of those. He's on one. Yeah. Oh, actually. <laughs> Oh, big, big problem for Reachable right now. In a, in a 2v1 situation, just like floating on top of the platform, like, who do I go for? What do I do in this situation? Where's my teammate? Where's my teammate? <laughs> He's lost. Somebody help him, get a map. The place where he doesn't want to go is between Sol and Assassino's combo, but... You know, they're, they're taking their time with him. You know, they're not really going towards him. Oh my goodness, weapon throw. Leapfrog! Leapfrog! <laughs> I like oh, we setting them up for a lovely combo, a fantastic combo, and a fantastic Ooh. ending. They are 2 0 up. So, first game, you know, sometimes you don't always take it on the first try. Like I said, what if maybe, what if maybe a Hardy or Gooey had to kind of uh, brush off some rust? What if they just needed a second to get their head in the game? You know, sometimes. What, what if you're not in completely control of the situation? Whatever. You have time to adapt. There's two other games. Second game, though. They are now down 0-2. They have had time to adapt, and they do not have much more for even what could be a chance at a game 5. They need reverse 3-0 game 5 to take this set. Otherwise, it looks like we will be having quite a simple upset, which, hey, which would make for a fantastic show. Hey, well, I love upsets. I don't know if you love upsets, but I personally love Oh, who love doesn't? <laughs> the team that's getting upset? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, good point. I yeah. forgot. But, uh, honestly... Oh! How the MJ not getting a follow-up there. So, by himself, gets caught in a neutral stick by Guichabu. Assassino, team without a teammate for a couple of seconds, without a weapon for even longer. This is a great start for how the MJ and Guichabu, you know. It's pretty, fantastic. pretty great. It is a great start. Fantastic start, as some would say. Oh, Assassino in his own teammate now. Barely doing any damage, though. They are starting to focus on Hardy. Look at. You can see Hardy and Gooey oh my on goodness. two opposite ends of the stage. Both members of Blue Team rush over to Hardy and try and stay away from Gooey. They know that they gotta respect the nice signature and revoke this Terrors from the game. Get that first stock on it. Now that we Ooh, have two, terrific easy pass to Assassino, though. Hey, they now have, I mean, they still have, uh, they, actually, Blue Team does not have a lot to lose. They really can kind of go ham schwang and they can afford they can. to lose a little bit. They can afford to have fun a bit if they wanted to want to close this out in style or just kind of, uh, just into this game. And with Ats, they can really kind of catch up and dance. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I was saying, Ats can catch up and damage pretty quickly. I know a lot of people complain about Ats not killing, but what they don't talk about is how quickly Ats can catch up and damage, because it can catch up and damage pretty quickly. Everybody on one stock right now said Bleach. You know, same thing as last game, Bleach was the, the only lad on on the most stocks. You know, that Kuna is doing well for him. On the MG, trying to... Yeah, no, they are focusing hardy. 
insanely hard right now. You can notice they even have a hard time swapping over to Gooey. They're, they're whiffing a lot of attacks on Gooey, and Gooey's able to get some good punishes. Hardy now realizing the state of the game. You can even see they are hounding for Hardy. They even let Quichipo recover. They could have gotten a double ledge guard, but no, this Taros is a lot more of an important target. As, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I obviously don't blame them. Hardy, I feel they, like they're gonna, they're gonna try and do the same. They'll do the same thing they did last game. They'll gotta have Guichabu in a 2v1 situation. This is good for them. The only problem, last time they were on, on white and yellow health, they were near like barely touched. This time, one one sick from uh, Guichabu, and it might be one of those stocks gone. And if Guichabu gets lucky enough, two of their stocks gone if they're right next to each other. So as you see, they still have to be really careful there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a sick oh, needed there. Hold on. Assassino needs a huge clutch right now. Down sick from Guichabu. Another down sick. Stay away from me. I want you dead. <laughs> oh my god. Every single oh. book. He said, let me show you a six toe case real quick. Uh, I gotta say, switching over to Spear was probably a very good idea. But now Katar's in the unarmed. Might be looking pretty good. Pivot to work up that stage. Not quite going to Not work. Really he's doing a bit of West Tech. He's, you know, he's baiting him off stage to try and catch him with a, a pivot. And light might be enough to send Gooey off stage. Weapon throw and then also light both we, lift. Gooey not enough. And Sino almost runs into the D-Sig! Nair catches! <laughs> he's throwing every Sig out. <gasps> he's hoping for the best right now. He's uh, scared. <laughs> he needs one of these Sigs oh, to connect. Both he's looking so best Oh, Asino, Asino, Asino. Dude, good. body, Asino. Oh. 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 Asino was trying to evade anything he could, but was, was more willing to throw himself off stage than to actually face and fight Gooey. And honestly, I do not blame him. You do not want to be caught in a one v one against Gooey, uh, especially proving some prowess after he was able to uh, shut up that 2v1 eliminate his teammate beforehand so i gotta say gooey is really really stepping up and hopefully can step it up a little bit more to give hardy a little bit more breathing room and hardy uh, i think maybe that might mean that they'll focus uh hardy a bit bit less because uh they were really suffocating hardy i think they now realize we got to give sort of that same attention to gooey or else the man's gonna run away with another 2v1 it's a, it's time for a game, game plan change, you know? Time to change your plans, yeah. you know, they know your plans. And time to change the map too, we're, we're autonomous now, oh, wow. That's on this map in the 2v2 queue? Or in the 2v2 Tommy, I should say now. Um, I mean, it's a big map with platforms. It does, <laughs> it does kind of encourage a little bit of like a, the, I guess the North American style of 2v2s, where it's usually like a lot of rotating 1v1s as opposed to like a proper 2v2, and there's less pass-offs. Um, yeah. But uh, still, nah, I mean, it's a big map, so you do have a lot of space, so I gotta say it, I don't think it's too bad for twos. I can Ooh. see why people think it's a little cool. Actually, who you get first? Like, I can see why people think it's a little funny or crazy for ones. There's a lot of space yeah. to run away, but like, eh, for twos, I can, the players are using the space, okay. Gweech and Hardy take the lead as we were talking about the map. Ooh, the lead gets cut off, so I shouldn't have said anything. But Tide, Tide, Tide in stocks right now. Hardy, MJ, not dying though. That's a surprise. Weapon throw to the face. Trying to put an axe to his face as well as Cino is. But Hardy, MJ, doing a good job avoiding it. They're like, okay, you want to move out the way? Warriors go for Gweech to boost then. This Queen Knight, it, you, like you were saying, yeah, it should be walking well in twos, and it is walking well in twos. Ooh! What a nice follow-up by Hardy there. Making sure so die. Ooh. I think he would have died anyways, but he has made sure. He's like, let me let me double check, buddy. Oh, that's a Sino gonna, gonna... Souls get back. So, uh, I don't know why he just stood there perplexed, but... <laughs> Team action. White <laughs> of a of a nice lead right here with Soul on their last stock. Casino actually looking to what's helping one of the boards, so it really depends on how this Bren plays this game. You can even see Soul is really kind of trying to put us a lot of space possible in between him and the red team, letting Asino take stocks where they so please. Gotta say, blue team strategy might be making this uh, 3 1 look a little bit more believable. But blue team just needs to find the right hits at the right moment, place them at the right spots to oh, maybe, maybe bring us to a game oh, five. But um, Soul is going to charge up that recovery, make that a big move. 
more difficult. Hardy <laughs> needs to be careful. Hardy's Just in a very a rough bit. spot right now. And look at that help in the upper right corner. Let's see. Stage Asino, not able to recover safely! I was gonna say, a little bit of a chain scene, Asasino on two stocks and then Guchabu, but his stock is taken away. Hardy MJ with an end sig gets Asasino's friend out, gets his teammate out, gets his man out, and Asasino in a spot he's not used to, he's by himself. He, he's not used to this in, in this set at least. Hardy oh, MJ, no. end sig, Guchabu, end sig, end sig everywhere, Die. back to the face. Asasino, you're stuck! Oh. You're in their playground now. We have a game five. All Asino needed to do was, I think, just get uh, Guichbo, who was pretty deep in a red, ran to play nine defense, but still nothing a, a well placed Prince can't fix. You know, those signatures hit hard. We're going to Miami Dome for game five as Guichbo and Hardy are able to clutch their way into what could be a reverse 3 0. The pressure is now on, um, is now on Seoul and Asino. Yeah. Right now, in my opinion, Guichabu is flying right now. Gooey, as you call him. He's flying at the moment on this Queen 9, which is it's funny because we have an Algram here. But Guichabu is the one flying. You know, he's my personal MVP. He's doing well on the Queen 9. The only non ass player, which I like, you know, be different. And being different is working for him too. So far, I'm about to bring him, if they win this, they'll bring back uh, 2 0 down to 3 2 up, which is huge. Asasino, so I'm trying the best not to go get a 3 0 reverse on them, but you know, good luck might not be in your favor today. All the MJ trying to get down so. Ooh, how's he still alive? That's a surprise. All the. How do you both taking out each other's respective teammates on the other side there? They're just standing there in the middle, like, yeah, I did that. I did that. Ooh, Greece with a helicopter getting the first kill. Guichibo trying to ledge guard Asino. Asino oh! is able to recover. He's able to land a signature, but it is the train. Gooey's able to catch him. Set him down his second stock. Guichibo oh. still on first stock. Not for long. Not long. Second stock's nope. across the board. Minute in. Clean slate. Hardy's taking the first bit of the damage on second stock. This game. is a really a... tight game. Really yeah. close and tight game. I love it. Game 5, all the marbles for this match going on right now. Luzo doesn't get eliminated, but they go down to Luzo's bracket. Winner goes to Winner's Final, and that's where you want to be. You want to be Winner's Final, because you're at least, at least top 3. Hardy, MJ, and also Soul are going to be very, very pivotal players in how the rest of this match goes. Asino just shows Asino crouches into the end sig. Ends up at the side sig. Goichbo is in the right spot. Almost so... gets caught in the team combo. Asino also the most healthiest one of the four. Orange on two. Look how far that dare sends him. Goichbo will not really take too many more. Of this is bad news for Hardy, MJ. If he keeps getting oh my out of yeah. in a 2v1 situation. So, so we started to dip down into orange. Meanwhile, half the game oh. is not even on last. Never mind. While uh, blue team still has a player on second stock, Guido Hardy is on orange on his last. The near oh. doesn't really play. Snipe for the recovery does. That right, recovery, they'll snipe him out the air. Got the kill there. Blue team to has. Slow blue team has a pretty decent path to success. Just need to focus Hardy on a little bit, something they've been very good on, but a Ooh, decent bit of the nice set. From Soul there. And then hopefully clutch out the 2v1 against Guichabo. But as Red Team congregates in the middle, they also still can't really keep Blue Team away from them too long. They have some fantastic stage control, but they get some of it up. Red Team is able to take center stage, start to send a Sino off to the side. Hardy off stage, no, the recovery is really quite connected, but running. the recovery doesn't send either. Red Team struggling to KO. Could this be the opening that they need to try and close this game out? Hardy, Graffiti, the everybody's in red center. right now. <laughs> everybody's this is in a red sudden right death now. game. This is, and the first man goes <laughs> down, and it's Hardy MJ. The second man could be Guichabu, and it looks like he is. No, he survives. Guichabu still somehow in this. He needs all anything he has, sadly. <laughs> For him, it's over. What a banger ending to a match. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Asino and Soul are able to